What if I told you that your tap water is contaminated? Yes, that's right. Not only is it contaminated, it's not something that you want to be drinking out of or even exposing yourself to that often. And why exactly might this be the case? Well, one of the reasons has to do with whether or not it does or doesn't have microplastics in it. Now, if you don't know why microplastics are such a big deal, then go check out this video. But to keep it really short, it will bind to sex hormone binding globulin, which can indirectly inhibit the amount of estrogen as well as the amount of free estrogen in the body, which which can affect men and women dramatically. Uh, for women, it can possibly even can cause uh, breast cancers or even for that matter, ovarian cancers. And for men, um, hopefully I don't have to explain what excess estrogen does. But to, yeah, that hopefully is a really good indicator to show you why you don't want to be having and exposing yourself to all of these microplastics. Now, this is where we come to where you should filter your water and you shouldn't just filter your water, uh, basically the fluoride out of your water because that's actually really bad. Uh, you definitely don't want fluoride in it, but regardless, you should also be filtering for microplastics and how exactly might you filter for microplastics? Well, there are actually three things that you can do in order to get clean drinkable water that isn't contaminated pretty much. So the first one that you can do is to keep it really short. Actually, don't even use the tap water, just go buy glass water because uh, if you go buy the glass water, it's probably a lot better. I'm not sponsored by them, but this is the one that I usually get. I get it in a glass like this. Now, the other possible ways that you can get clean water that isn't actually just completely contaminated with microplastics is secondly, to make sure that you actually are using a activated charcoal filter. Yes, uh, activated charcoal filters are another way. You can just go look that up on Amazon. And basically that's a really good way to filter microplastics. And the third thing that you can do in order to filter microplastics is use reverse osmosis. Now you can get a reverse osmosis filter, which uh, will filter it very, very well. Actually, it'll filter way more than just the microplastics. But to keep it really short, that hopefully is an indicator of some of the things that you can do in order to filter out and basically prevent these microplastics from constantly um, causing things that you don't really want to do with your hormones. You don't want them messing with your hormones and stuff. So yeah. Once again, thanks for watching. If you found the video helpful or informative, actually go click my Cerule link down below and go get Cerule from me because if you get Cerule from me, I get more free product and not only do I get more free product, that means you get more videos. And if you want to see all of my videos ahead of time, please click the join button down below where you can see all of my videos ahead of time as well as support me personally. So once again, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.